Hey Dressage Superstars, welcome to Dressage Mouthful TV. My name is Natasha Rolkoff and I'm a Grand Prix Dressage rider from Australia. Welcome to Thursday Train with Tash. Thank you to Georgia for joining me today. Um, and Georgia and I have just decided we're going to really set some goals and make Georgia a Dressage rider. Was that just my goal? Sorry. <laughs> Make you a dressage rider only. No, that's a good goal. <laughs> I have to be a dressage rider to event anyway. That's so. it. You can just lead after the dressage and as long and as you clear, clear. <laughs> gold is all yours. Um, so when I'm working with someone for the first time, I, I, I need to take a stock and an inventory of where they're at. So I then know if my student is improving. I don't work with clients or students. Um, I don't just turn up for a lesson day after day or week after week and at the end of a year go, yeah, that was nice. Um, my students have to improve every week, they have to improve every month and they have to improve every quarter. Um, otherwise, they and I aren't doing our jobs properly and I despise wasting time. So if we're going to invest time together, we're going to freaking make it count and make sure that we're getting results. So the first thing I think about is in the German training scale is can Georgia ride her horse in a rhythm? So um, just for a second Georgia, just close your, uh, quiet your seat and see if you can get that walk to slow down just with your seat. Yaha! It's on a free it doesn't count. So they find that easy. Now I just want you to swing your seat and you can use a little leg and see if you can make the walk rhythm quicker. Good. So that's my first tick. And if you're at home going, you know, it's a good test for you to go, can I make my horse rhythm slower? Can I make my horse rhythm faster? From very minute aids. Georgia didn't have to kick, kick, kick or pull, pull, pull or do anything really. Um, it just kind of happened like magic, didn't it, Georgia? Did you know you could do that? No, I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm already it. happy. We're done now because I've learnt something new. These, these dressage, <laughs> they're, they're just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, and obviously we'd go through that then in can she do it in trot, can she do it in canter, can she do it on the other rein. Um, but then staying in the walk on this rein, I then go, okay, how's the contact? And so firstly, when I first look at contact, I look at the rider's hands. Um, and I can see Georgia loves to ride with her pinkies kind of open. And now she's kind of closed them going, what? No, there's nothing Me there, never. it's all fine. <laughs> um, but if you get Georgia concentrating or doing something else, can you just ride? Yeah, see how they just open up? Um, which is so, I did it for years. Because are you always shortening your reins, Georgia? Mm. Yeah, I used to shorten my reins. That was just all I did on a horse. Shorten my reins and shorten my reins and shorten my reins. But my, my contact never got shorter. <laughs> and it was because I had this habit of opening um, my lower fingers that meant the reins minutely by minutely, mill by mill, um, went through my fingers, um, which meant I always had to shorten my reins. So um, that's, and it just doesn't allow you to have that kind of feel if your hands are open. Then you have to start relying on bigger things. So that's the first thing that we're gonna think about, Georgia, for you is going, okay, in three months, I wanna never have to be while your pinky's open. So we're really, really gonna focus on that because once you can have your hands having a better contact, everything, everywhere changes. 